Matt's got a question here uh, uh, again about upgrading. Um, so staying on topic, uh, what is the best way to upgrade Windows 10 devices to Windows 11 via Intune? Well, uh, let me um, let me share my screen again here. Um, so, if you head over to Intune. I don't want to change those. Say those changes. It's fine. And by the way, one of the changes that did announce that is public, uh, speaking of the WP Ninja conference, is that Microsoft is reworking this UI here. They are hmm. unifying uh, auto patch with Windows Update for Business. Uh, there are still license requirements for some of its features, but otherwise it will all be in here. So there will be another like tab here. I forgot what the name was, but it, it will be here. Uh, those changes have started to roll out already. It will be done in, in two, three weeks' time. Uh, but sidebar. Uh, so for Intune and deploying Windows 11 uh, uh, updates or upgrades to Windows 11, uh, you have to more or less uh, combine this stuff here, which is basically where you tell it what version you want to go to and, and how quickly you want to do it. And you may have multiple of these, uh, depending on what the schedule you decide on doing. But you also need to provide things like drivers and BIOS update, etc., because it could very well be that the device requires it. Intune doesn't do that. There's nothing built in into Intune that helps you with that. So once you start to do your testing, you may very well find out that, yeah, we have seven models. We need to do a BIOS update. So you need to deploy Intune applications that does the BIOS update. You may realize, oh, darn it, I have five uh, models that I actually need to provide drivers for or that I need to do something with. And that's when you start to build up these remediation scripts and download driver packages and tell this setup to use it. So we have shown this a few times already because we get this question a lot, but long story short, if you, let's see where I have it here. If you place a, a well-crafted, uh, here. If you put the well-crafted in a file into this specific folder through a remediation script, Intune will use it when it does the feature upgrades. And if that in a file has instructions to install drivers, it's going to do it. The only thing you have to do later is, of course, make sure that the right drivers are in that folder or whatever folder you decide to use. I see some folks putting them in program data just to keep them out of sight for, for, for uh, users, but one folder, doesn't matter which folder. And, and that is together with the, the many custom actions you can put in here as well, uh, where you can tell setup driven by Intune to do certain things is uh, uh, if something goes wrong or whatever it is that you, you need to do. So there, there is a lot of things that can be done. It's just that there is nothing in the Intune UI or in the, in the portal itself that, that help you do it. So there are plenty of articles out there on, on how to modify and, and, and work with setup config in a file. Adam has a good post on it. Trevor Jones has a good post on it. But that's stuff you have to do when, when working with uh, having Intune drive feature updates. 